Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Very well, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm okay. <clears throat> nice to have you in class. Thank you. You too. Me too. Thank you. Did you come to some? Your day? It was good, actually. It was really good. Working as usual. And what about your day? Did you come to San Salvador? Anyway, no. Not today, no. Okay. I, I, I was in the office. Ah, oh, all right. But, you go but all day. Oh, okay, all right. Do you go to the office every day or not really? Only uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh, three times a week. Oh, nowadays, uh huh. Okay. But after I imagine, or oh, I suppose that every day. Oh. Right, yes, of course. All right. Huh. That's nice. Do you like to go to the office or not very much? I prefer uh, go to the office because in my house <laughs> it's very <laughs> heavy. <laughs> right, yeah, I understand. Uh -huh. But uh, I was uh, acostumbrada. Used to? Used to uh, to be with my son. It's very difficult mm -hmm. now. <laughs> I know, I understand. Yeah, for sure. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, but and who takes necessary. yeah of course who takes care of your son when you uh, are not in the house who takes who takes care of him when you are not in the house ah uh, with my mom for for now uh, but okay i i will found other people because uh, my my sister have a a, um, a, baby. a baby oh a baby. my goodness uh, yeah, and, and my mom is very older. All right, yeah, of course. And she's gonna take care of the baby? Your mom, no? Y yes, my mom, take care. She's gonna take care of the, your your sister's baby? Uh-huh, ah. my mom. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. And you only have one child, right? Uh, um. You only have one child, right? Yes, only one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Oh, let's see. Hi, Verito. Hi, Moises. Hi, Diana. Wow, nice to see you guys in class. Very good. Well, let's you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> very good. Ah, Moises is already in. All right, guys. So, like, good evening. Um, it's very nice to see you all, Verito. Very nice to have you in class. Jose Luis, Diana, Moisés, what happened to, wasn't it Oscar in class? No, right? And Moisés. So, Verito, how was your day today, Vero? Uh, my day was okay, teacher. Excellent. Uh, yes, I, I went to visit some customers. Okay. Yes. All right. And here in San Miguel, uh, in the afternoon, rain hard. Mm, really yes oh my goodness it didn't rain today in san salvador oh mm -hmm. in san miguel yes it was cloudy though but it, it didn't rain did it rain in santa ana or in son sonate guys no mm. Mm. not the church. No. all right so i guess the rain was no, on the other side <laughs> Yes. All right. Oh my goodness. All right. Now, is it hot, Verito, or not so much? Uh, not so much. Uh, All right. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. All right. Now, Vero, do you live right in, in San Miguel or like close to San Miguel, the city center? I mean, I live right in San Miguel. Okay. Yes. I live near to Metro Centro. Oh yeah, I know where that is. <laughs> yes. Ah, very good. Okay. Do you have to commute to your work or you walk? Uh, like, how do you commute to your work? Bus? Do you walk? Do you drive? Uh, please repeat. Yes. How do you commute? How do you go to your work? Um. By bus. Now I Mm -hmm. The company provides the ah, transportation. provides the transportation. All right, okay. But uh, I used to use the the public transportation. Right, okay. I see. All right, very yes. good. All right, very nice. Thank you, Vera, for being with us here. Hi, Jose Luis. How are you? 
Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Yeah. It's it right. good. I spent time with my family and enjoying yes. the last day. The last days, Jose Luis. You're going back to your work soon. <laughs> yes, I come back soon. Yeah, I, I will rest too much. <laughs> yeah, but resting is good. <laughs> Sometimes. Yes, it is good. Okay, very it's good. good. Now, you guys are going to go before the customers come in? Are you starting work before? Yes. Okay. Yes, because the, I think the hotel for the guests is open in September 19th. Okay. But for us, we mm -hmm. start around 10 or 11. Oh, okay. Oh, I almost. Oh, no. The, the guests. <laughs> right, yeah, of course. Yeah, Moises. Because I, I have... I have to, I have to know the new process, how to right. receive the, the guest. Right. That's right. Yes. Okay, I see. All what right. do you work, Jose Luis? I work in the Southern Hotel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. I know. <laughs> yes. All right, very good. All right, it's very so, good. Yeah? It's so uh, interesting work. Yeah, no kidding. Interesting job. <laughs> yeah. Yes, All right. That, yeah. That good. Very good. And Moises, you're going back at the same time as Jose Luis to the hotel? Do you know? Yes, I think that we'll be, we'll be there around 10 days before the, okay. the guests. Re guests. All right, I see. All right, I get it. All right, very good. All right, so I also have Ellie and Oscar. Hi, Oscar. And Diana, of course, and Jesse, very good. And Norma, hi, Normita. All right, very good. All right, hi, so good evening. I'm gonna, good evening. hi, good evening. I'm gonna take attendance right now, guys, all right? And then uh, we'll keep on talking about your days. Very good, all right. So let's see who I have here. Uh, Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Erika Lirio Perez Diaz. Give me a second here. All right, very good. Eric Mauricio Perez. Yes. Henry Vladimir Tepas. No. Nope. All right, Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Jose. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Jose, are you frozen? Hola. Hola. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Oh my goodness, ¿qué me pasó? <laughs> I left, eh? All right, José Luis Rivera Gutiérrez. José Luis. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Sí, Moises, dígame. Present. No, ah, okay. Yes, I got hands. The hands up. No. Ah, okay, thank you. All right. Henry del C. Tepas. Hi, Henry. Say present. Thank you. All right. Uh, Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Jesse. Oh, acaba de salir. A ver. Eh, Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present. Williams Alexa. Ah, no, Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Francisca y uh, uh, yeah. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Hold on, guys, just give me a second here. Andrea Williams. Mm 
Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Norin. All right, very good. Eh, Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Normita. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. All right. Eh, Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. No. Verónica Lizeth Soto Serna. Present. Anubia Araceli Cortés Amaya. All right, very good. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for being like here with me already. That's very nice. Appreciated, guys. We are two days away. I mean, tonight and two more days, and we're done. All right, we're gonna be finishing this course. I need to remind you that on Friday, please be in class because we're gonna be doing the encuesta de satisfacción. That, as I mentioned before, we need to work on it, and I want you guys to do it with me, all right? Just in case you have any questions or any, any, any doubts or anything on the uh, filling in of the, uh, of the uh, survey, all right? Uh, I think maybe tomorrow you will be receiving the uh, email and the WhatsApp with the link of the survey, all right? The encuesta de satisfacción. No la han recibido todavía, ¿verdad? O ya la recibieron. Todavía no. Okay, yo creo que mañana ya las empiezan a mandar. If you can, please wait. Let's do it together on um, Friday, all right? Together. We're going to do it at 9 p.m., all right? So everybody has to be in with me at 9 p.m., okay? So just to remind you that. Igual recordarles que after like, class, you can stay for a little bit in case you have any questions or anything that you want to talk about or just practice your English for 10 more minutes, all right? All right, very good. With that in mind, guys, we're going to be talking again. We're finishing up. We're wrapping up this week with uh, the generation gap between the x generation and the y generation and i guess the baby boomers all right we actually have been talking about the baby boomers because in lots of our old jobs we still have baby boomers all right uh they are still present in the job for in the workforce and i think it's it's nice to have them around as well as gen x many of the companies are i think most of companies they um have gen x and gen like a lot of the employees are from these two generations, all right? More than baby boomers, all right? Or the new generation. Because this new generation, they're just beginning to work. For example, Irene, she works with uh, Generation Z, all right? Es más joven que los millennials aún, ¿verdad, Irene? All right, because you work with the first... Um, she finds a job for people that are just for the first time. Si están buscando trabajo por primera vez, they are youngsters. They are 18, 19, 20 years old, all right? Entonces ya no entran en la millennials eh, generation, entran en la gen, uh, gen Z, all right? Que todavía no está definido that name as such, but they, they talk about it like that. Irene, can you tell your classmates your experience on dealing with these teenagers that are getting their first jobs, all right? How are they like? Are they nice? Are they responsible? How are they like? Um, really, teacher, is very, very big that the job with the work with they. Okay, with them? Because uh, the teenagers um, normally uh, in my job, found the first job, yes. but when, when they, uh, how do you say, se dan cuenta? When they realize. Uh, when they realize uh, that new experience found my organization for training. Okay. For training. Uh -huh. Then, uh, they, then uh, they train me in in the ONG 
um, the skills are better. Okay. The skills, the experience, um, um, someone are shy maybe. Okay. Then they need to speak. <laughs> they speak okay. very much. Okay. Yeah. And then when she, when they, they finish the training, I found the first job for for day. Mm. Yeah. I I going to the enterprise of the company. Yes. And and to speak with a boss or manager. Okay. And I give I give a, the first opportunity for day. Okay. Okay. Now, guys, I don't know if you know, but um, Jesse, I mean, Jesse, Irene, she works um, in a program that is actually by Insafor. Okay. So, what she does, or these uh, us, is that they look for jobs for uh, people that are looking for their first job. All right. It's called Empresa Centro. So what they do is like they, Irene finds a job for these kids, for these teen, I mean, they are not kids, they are teenagers, like 18 and older, all right? But it's their first job. And what Irene is saying is that these uh, people, they, they receive training at their, at their office, okay? Now, uh, Irene, can you tell us like what kind of training you guys give and how long the training is for these new or future uh, workers, future employees? Okay, our six, uh, sorry, six careers. Mm -hmm. Six careers. Everyone is different than the, the long. The length. Because, oh. uh, mm -hmm. The long, uh -huh. Because uh, in the case of, uh, Wait, waitress, for mm -hmm. example, are nine months. And for sales person, nine months too. Oh. But the other career, for example, mechanicals, mm -hmm. is very long. How long, Irene? And mechanical fast service, um, seven months. Mm. Yeah, uh, three months only theory. The, Theory, theory, only theory, yeah, theoretical, all right. Then, uh, four, four months practice in the enterprise. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, but in the four and graduate when, when they finish. But the enterprise pays, pays, pays them. Pays uh, them, Are they, okay, pays, they get paid, okay. Pays them the, the middle salary. Mm. The middle salary. Half, half of the salary. Yeah, uh -huh. half. Oh, uh, all right. I, I go to Ministerio de Trabajo uh -huh. for career, the, los contratos. Ah, for the contracts. The contract, yeah, because um, they work with lear learning, le learning contracts. Contrato de aprendizaje. Ah, sí, claro. All right. Okay. Ajá. Then, when, she, when they finish, uh, they, can, they can get the first employer. Mm, okay. there, there are many um, good experiences with people in poverty, mm -hmm. um, with uh, social problems in other things. Okay. And that, that change for them, mm -hmm. um, the, the life for them changed totally. Right, of course. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Now, uh, Irene, the, these people that go to your uh, centro, uh, they are there studying the whole day. Yeah. Um, they study the from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. And how Nowadays, many? How many? Ah, oh, right. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Nowadays, for the for the quarantine or for the pandemic, but in other time is to Monday to Friday. Okay. From it, eight uh -huh. eight a.m. Uh, to five p.m. 
from eight to five every day. Every day. All it's right. like a career. It's like right. a career. But, it's like a university. <laughs> yeah, but it's free for day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's because, a, yes. Yeah, continue then. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, shut down the light. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We see you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> because in Safor, fetch them. Fetch them. The, the course of the train. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Irene. It's free for yeah. For the it's free for them. Yes. In mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So it's really interesting, guys. The uh, the job that Irene has, and I don't know if you have you knew about it. I don't know if you guys knew about this kind of program that Insa Forb has. To be honest, there are many, many programs. Sorry, guys. There are many, many programs that Insafor has that sometimes we don't know about. All right. There are many mm -hmm. online courses, many free that Insafor gives to any participant. All right. So it's really, really nice. And this Empresa Centro is one of the big, like, very interesting projects because it helps these people to get a job but before they get training and this is remember the professional training and the trainings that we were talking about the first two weeks so these people they get training and as as Irene was saying is for free for the participants and they are there the entire day o sea no es un training que es like ah you know like only one hour or two hours a day no it's it's a school from 8 in the morning to 5 p.m. from Monday through Friday, cuando estamos presencialmente. Obviamente, it is different because we are, because of the whole situation, all right? But these, these kids or these teenagers, they, um, or young adults, they, get, they study every day and they get ready for their, the, 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 for the job force, all right? The workforce, all right? So they learn many uh, skills many abilities related to sales, all right, Re related to uh, I, I, waitress and waiter, right, Irene? Yes, I think bartender or not? Yes, the mesero bartender, waitress. All right. Okay, very good, all right, mechanics, right? Mechanic, Irene? soldier, soldier and, and automotrix. Ah, like soldador, huh? dweller. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, well, in, uh -huh. in mecha mechanical uh, fast service in motor gasolina. Ah, oh, you see. All right. So you get they get very. I mean, they do receive this training and it's very interesting. All right. And what Irene is saying is, when they are, they finish studying like the teoria part, they Irene, Irene does. She looks for a job for these. A jo uh -huh. It's like a training, like a, a contrato de aprendizaje. That, that's the name, Irene? All right. Because they go, these people go to the company to learn, all right, like hands-on, remember, like mentoring and, and following, shadowing kind of thing, porque están en el trabajo. They get paid a half of the payment, all right, but they are still learning, all right? So it's very good. I think it's a very nice project for anybody all right and as Irene mentioned these projects are like beneficial for these people because some of them they come from very low income families all right that they will not have the money to send their daughters or sons or children to a to a itka for example or to a university so they go to this empresa centro this place to study all right, so I think it's I'm very it's, it's a very nice opportunity. Yes, Dianita. I'm sorry, teacher. Can I ask a question to Irene? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> How a, a company can can take part of it of this program? Because in my case, my business sometimes we have a problem like having a, a, a bank of candidates. Candidates. Uh -huh. candidates? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, when we are looking for a for a new employee, mm -hmm. and and we we uh, we I, I don't know we contract 
We yeah. contract you uh, hire? sales. I hire a uh, sales person. So how can I do to be part of this program as a company? To get these people trained in my mm. company, for example. And after that, uh, maybe give them a job. Okay. Irene? How can Diana become part of the, uh, the program as a company? Ah, okay. Um, only you need um, to help to the teenager and pay the hard salary. Mm -hmm. um, you um, re register, register, in, in, register. Uh -huh, register in his form um, for, for, um, Lo voy a decir en español, a través de Fe y Alegría. Ok. Uh -huh. Ajá, Fe y Alegría. Um, there are in San Salvador, en Soyapango, um, en Atío Cuadrán, uh -huh. too. Uh -huh. Ajá. Um, if you need a sales person, I, I can to help. Oh, that would be awesome. Thank you, Irene. Ok. This, this person you can employ it in a sales area area mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. or customer service mm -hmm. or can be um, administrative mm -hmm. um, accounts account, accounts mm -hmm. accountants mm -hmm. yes accountants uh -huh. or maybe in bodegas <laughs> oh okay. warehouse uh -huh. Uh, yeah, um, they are polyvalent because we need that this person uh, prepare very well for enfrentar the, to face, the reality. To face reality, uh -huh. yeah, no kidding. To, yeah. to face the real job workforce, yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Irene. Yeah. I will send I will send you Dianita um, the number cell phone of the um gestora. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I will uh, employees in San Salvador. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very All much. Right. Yeah. Thank you to you. No, I think it's very nice. I think it's really interesting. And I was asking Irene about this, not because I wanna know, I mean about what she does but i think it's related to what we have been talking about about training about professional development because guys sometimes we don't know that there are opportunities out there maybe not many but there are all right so i think it's good because sometimes we know people that they want to study and we don't know how to help them because financially we cannot help them all right but if we know about these kind of programs that are for free and they are like related to training forces and were i mean professional development about trainings and all that I think it's really interesting all right and irene is also working with the younger people all right not even millennials so más modernos que los millennials all right es lo que llamamos ya generación z que todavía la definición o la El nombre, la like, generación Z todavía no está, like, very defined, pero así más o menos se le quiere llamar a estos niños que ahorita tienen a lo sumo 22 años, 20 años, all right? And Irene works with these people, all right? So I think it's interesting, all right? Sometimes at many jobs, they, they want to hire you, but they ask you, do you have 10 years of experience? And you just graduated from high school. <laughs> so that's silly, all right? Sometimes they want you to have experience, but you are like, you know, you just graduated from high school or you're just 20 years old, so you cannot really have that much experience. So I think it's interesting about what Irene does because she's really close to this new generation and they are offering these type of opportunities. As Irene was saying, these places or these kind of jobs it helps to change someone's life all right like in a very dramatic way all right because they receive education for free and like superior education we're not talking about high school we're talking about like technicals all right this is what they are studying they are stu at the end of the day they are studying like a technical kind of thing 
All right, so I think it's really important and I, I think it's really interesting what Irene does and the job and the opportunity that there is and it exists, okay? Sometimes we just need to look a little deeper onto many things, all right? I don't know if anybody has another question for Irene or related to what Irene does or any comments or anything. Teacher, in my, in my company, work with the Fe Alegria program, uh -huh. too, but uh, related to operators. Okay. Because they had a, a one program with the, mm -hmm. the younger people. Okay. And they teach around the six months. Mm -hmm. And they uh, that the teenagers uh, learning about the the use the machine okay. uh, for children and uh, a different kind of machinery. And for right. some, in my case, I reduced two weeks okay. for training uh -huh. and that to uh, hire people. And for for the company is better. Right. And uh, the co only ke the company uh, hired the people for the formal contract. Okay. And for All the right. people is the first job. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And had another another program with yeah. the university. Okay. The program is an internship uh, with the prof uh, students in five uh, the uh, people. Uh, was a um, uh, pasantía. Yeah, like an internship. Uh -huh. Internship, uh -huh. uh, an internship uh, sin, uh, uh, the, the teenagers can choose or, as, or internship or thesis. Oh, okay. All right, uh, I get it. The teenagers choose internship. And right. the, the university have our, our one people uh, responsible uh -huh. about the program and they uh, work with the enterprise sure. and give, share that people okay. and the companies uh, make exams and, and interviews and tests and when they uh, choose uh, any people, they, that people working in the company during six months okay. previous to graduation. Oh, okay. And, and when the, the, but the, the company payment, the minimum salary. Right. Because okay. that people was a professionals. Right. Because in the six months, they are graduated. Right. Okay. And then uh, many uh, people, uh, if uh, not is a good, uh, a good performance right. or a, um, a good values, a responsible and punctual mm -hmm. when the company had an open position, right? That person can apply okay. as an internal. Oh, public. okay. And All right. And many people uh, is hired in the company mm -hmm. in that process. Right. Um, normally, I, I have six or, or eight. Uh, teenagers mm -hmm. each uh, six months and or more than 90 percent is higher okay interesting all right yeah so you see just like what we were saying about Irene's company also enormous company they have this type of alliance with Fe Alegria in a way and universities all right to give opportunities to these people that are just you know, wanting to start working, you know, they just want to start working like now, you know, because of the, 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 that way they get experience since the very beginning. All right. So I think that's very, very good. All right. So that, as I said, this relates to everything we have been talking about. Yes, Ellie. Uh, in, in the Ciudadela, uh -huh. there is a project similar with Empresa Centro. They okay. Support. Okay. It is uh, training uh, about mechanic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Puerto confección right okay seamstress yeah uh, cosmetology okay and uh, informatics oh wow for areas hearing. right right for areas yeah okay very good yes. Ellie, Ellie do you work with these people or not no I don't work these people 
but I uh, I had I had I, I had a, a student mm -hmm. that after the, the graduation he is a student in this program. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I think it's it's interesting to know about this because um, I guess many people can take advantage of these things, all right, in a good way, of course. Very good. Any anybody else want to comment anything, or you guys are okay? What about of your companies, Elizabeth? Mm, me, it's interesting, teacher. But I believe that these people they don't receive any money. I believe they they are a student. No, they do. As Irene was saying, when they go to the company, they receive half of the payment. Ah, All right? half. Okay. Yeah, half. Mm -hmm. All right. In the in the case right. of Irene, but in the case of Norma, they they receive a salary. Free. Right, no, I think they, they complete salary. A complete salary, Irene, uh, Elizabeth. Yes. Yeah. Hey. A minimum salary. Minimum wage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Because give us supporting for me. Yeah. I think who who came who can participate in this in this program company or program? And in 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 pass the test for that that center. They have a different test to to select. Uh, 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 they select they select the people. The, the or, people or different apply. people can be applied. Any people can be applied. Can be applied. Ah, okay. Right. Yeah, well, okay. It's good. It's it nice. Good. It is good. And right. what, is the, what is the top edge age for the for applying the the in this work, the topic. Mm. no, in this training, what is the, the, the age? Ah, the uh, age. 18. Age, yes. Normita, you have Norma? to be, Norma, you have to be, how old do you have to be for those programs? For the yeah. operators, 18, because uh, la, the company couldn't uh, hire a, uh, 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 what to say the menor de la? Uh, yeah, like they, uh, underage. Underage, the company. Is yeah, of course. Low, couldn't hire. Right. Because all the people need to have more than eighteen. A, a, eighteen. Okay. Eighteen, but in the top uh -huh. of the uh -huh. hasta uh -huh. no, 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 in my company forty years. Yeah. Ah. Forty years. Yeah. Okay. And what about Irene? In your program, Irene? We cannot hear you, Irene. Irene, no le podemos escuchar. Hi. No, Irene. Se nos fue. Hola. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Yes, we. Can you hear me? Yes, Irene. I can hear you. Yes. Okay. Uh, the pro, the pro, okay. The, the project that Normita said is uh, is with USAID, no in Safor. Is with USAID. Because it's other project, but in our case, in Empresa Centro, the age, uh, Jennifer is 18 to 25 age. Mm, they have limit, limit. Right. Uh -huh. 18 to 25. Right, 18 uh -huh. to 25. 18, 18, 18, 25. In my case, I don't apply. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> no, but... For example, for your daughter or for your son? No, mm. my son have a, a 26. He's 26. <laughs> oh, Cassie. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. But this, is, nice. this is a work, work, 
God first in this time. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Very good. So if you notice, guys, the people that Irene works with, as I said, they're very, very young. All right. From like 18 to 25. All right. So, so they're like not even millennials. All right. So that's, that's very interesting. All right, guys. Very good. I don't know if anybody else, more, I mean, Oscarito, you have been very quiet today. All right. I guess he's just listening. All right. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has any comment about these uh, programs or these things that uh, happen in El Salvador, believe it or not. You know why I believe they're good. Mm. In my in my work, the company uh, they haven't. They don't have any, any program. program. All right, very good. What yeah, about yeah. what about in your job, Oscar? Because it's like um like a national kind of job. Like a national. Uh huh. Yeah, it is. It is. All right. Do you have? Do you guys have like any type of programs that help people get jobs or anything, or like their first jobs? Um, not really. Not really. In my area, mm -hmm. they published a, a, a what to say an ad in yeah. the in the in the newspapers, All right. in the local newspapers, mm -hmm. and the internet, and I mean in the the SEPA website. Right. Facebook and I, I can recall the other uh, app. So they call for for a for for a concourse to uh, a vacancy 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 right okay. Um, they most of the times uh, English is required. Right. Is the main is the main uh, uh, asset. Right. Is the main <laughs> asset to 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 get an interview all right and they do uh, massive interviews mm -hmm. and then they train people right but okay. to tell the truth in my in my work uh, place uh, it doesn't matter if you finish uh, a career or university career because okay. uh, the uh, there's no university for for this well, here in El Salvador right for this job so right. you if you are good at english uh, you are trained all right okay yeah, but it's a process it's a process but they don't have really they don't have programs for 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 right. newcomer for for freshmen right. uh, and okay. for youngster for okay. younger people younger people all right uh -huh. i see all right very good yeah, I guess every company is different, right? So, but I think it's it's nice to know at least about this uh, type of programs that we have here as a country, all right? Unfortunately, there are not many, but there are some, all right? So I guess it's nice to know that there are at least a couple, all right? Very good, guys. So we're going to continue here with um, with what I have for you here. Just let me get it. Here we have it. Okay. Just give me a second. I'm just going to put it up. All right. So what we're talking about today, we're going to compare assets just like Oscar says. Oscar always says something about the content of the class. I noticed. That's fun. <laughs> All right. So we're going to compare both generations on the workplace. We have been doing it. All right. In a way. Yesterday, we were talking a little bit about Gen X and Gen Y or millennials. All right. So we're talking about it. But my first question for you guys is, what is assets? When I say assets, what comes to your mind? What is it? How can you define it? What is an asset? Anybody? For me, teacher, is the most value resources for the company. Okay. All right. Very nice. Okay. But Thank really, you. It's, uh, for example, the, the build, building, uh -huh. the buildings, uh, cars, or ah, any kind right. of transportation okay in the house too okay and whatever whatever things that represent values okay uh, I see. for the for the government okay yes all right okay yes all right very and pay nice. taxes for them <laughs> all right <very laughs> yes. Good. yes okay what about anybody else 
What is, uh, what well, does asset mean? Uh -huh. In oh. my case, I'm thinking it when the people in one hand, when people do for the another, uh, for the other people, and can be two one kind of evaluation that you can make inside your business. Mm. Okay. All right. I see. So. Very good. Thank you, Jesse. All right. Anybody else? What is asset? Gerardo, for you, what does asset mean? Or Moises or Diana? Uh huh. Gerardo. For me, it's uh, like a uh, characteristic. Mm -hmm. A positive. A positive characteristic. The, okay. The, of generations, so, or maybe in the workplace. Okay. All right. Very good. Anybody else? The Anita, Moises. I agree with with Gerardo. I think that there are they are positive characteristics about something. Okay. About something. All right. Very good. Okay. Anybody else? Moises? Eli or Elizabeth? Verito, you've been quiet today. Uh huh. I don't know. It's a check. Okay. Very good. That's okay. I think it's uh, a value, a value about a person. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Jose Luis? Useful or valuable quality skills. Ah, but don't don't Google it, Elizabeth. Ah, Elizabeth, you're googling. So Teacher, I don't know what is the meaning. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I know. It's all right. Be patient. All right, very good. Oscar, what's an asset? You just said it, but you can tell us again. It's a quality that a person. Okay. In this case, it's a quality refer to a person. Okay. It's a good, it's a good quality. All right. They, they, they can boost uh, your, your, cho your chances okay. of getting, of getting a job or, 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 in, or a promotion. Okay. I get it's it. An asset. Uh -huh. or for example, if you, if you're looking for a, for a boyfriend and <laughs> to, be, to be handsome is an asset. Okay. It's an asset, it's an asset. <laughs> or to be, <laughs> or to be, I don't know. I don't know. So it's, so, right. it's an okay. asset, so it's a plus. It's like a like a a good uh, quality. Okay, good very quality. good. Yes, look at Normita, she's <laughs> laughing. <Yeah. laughs> All right, very no, good. Thank uh, you. Easy, easy example. Easy example. Easy example. Though. All right, very good, guys. So, for Elizabeth and for some other people. I don't know, hay como una bullita por ahí, no sé quién tiene el micrófono abierto y hay como bullita. All right, escuchamos una tele por ahí, no sé de quién es la tele. All right, very good, thank you. All right, so we have assets, all right. It says a useful or valuable thing, person or quality. All right, so some people, for example, Jenny talked about a car, a house, a building, those are assets, all right, that has values. We're talking, you guys were talking about quality, you know, like for example, what Oscar said, if you're looking for a boyfriend to be handsome is an asset, all right? It's a quality, all right? So you have that. So it's an asset is a useful or valuable thing, person or quality, all right? So with that in mind, guys, before anything else and before we continue here, I want you to answer this question honestly. I want you to write it somewhere and then you're gonna share it with me, all right? What are your assets? Can you answer that question individually? Think about it. What are your assets? You as a person. I don't want you to tell me about you in your job place. I want you to tell me you as Elizabeth del Carmen, you as Normita Rivera, you as Diana Gabriela, all right? What are your assets, guys, okay. all right? So I'll give you one minute, think about it. You can write it down or you can just think about it and then talk to us, okay? Okay, teacher. When you're ready, you let me know. Uh, I will try. <laughs> yes, we're ready. All right, just let's, uh -huh. Yes, Diana. Are we thinking? In your assets as a, as employees or as no, person? No, as a person. Right now, Diana, oh, okay. 
And after we'll talk about employee, as you as an employee. But right now, think about Diana Gabriela Hernandez. All right, okay, your assets you. as a person. All right, so I'll give you a, a one minute. I'll give you a minute or so. Think about it quietly. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. And I want to hear everyone about you, your own assets as a person. <laughs> I'll put you on the spot today. Hi, Nubia.
teacher, you're, you're muted. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. I'm like thinking, ¿por qué no me escucha Henry? <laughs> oh my goodness, Dianita, thank you so much. You saved my life. <laughs> I'm sorry, Henry. Yo sí de Henry, ¿por qué no me oye? <laughs> sorry, ajá, Henrito. All right, tell us about your assets as a person. Okay. My accent, my person, I think, and my body is the respons responsible. Responsible? Responsible? Uh -huh. Committed to my work, positive, enthusiastic, ah. and adaptable to the change, and always complete resol resolution because in the in my area work, I work like reflection. It's okay. necessary for me. All right, okay, very good. So as a person, you can say you are responsible, all right? All right, yes. very good. Okay, very nice. Jennifer, what about in your case, Jenny? My asset? Yes. Um, you know, sometimes proactive, serious when it's necessary, responsible, mm -hmm. kindness, and okay. funny too. Okay. Determined. Independently. Oh, determined. Uh, okay. Determined. Yes. Open mind. Uh, commitment. Savvy. And more and more and more. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, Jenny. Very nice. Good. Yeah. Very good. What about Elizabeth del Carmen? Uh huh. Hello. 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 Is the characteristic to describe any different person that that maybe maybe uh, hungry, friendly, uh, uh, responsible, and. I believe that describes the positive characteristic. Sure, yeah, because they're like value things, all right, like good the, things, all right, very good. Value, right. the, value the characteristic. All right, very good, uh, okay. So, only that. All right, very good. Elizabeth, Oscar, <clears throat> tell us about your assets. Okay, um, I think I'm reliable. Okay. Uh, determined. Determined. Yes. Um, but I mean in decision making. I right. Mean, I, okay. I'm sure uh, sometimes what I want. What am I gonna do? Okay. Uh, continuous learning, teamwork, tolerant, and oh, uh, uh huh, and speech. All right. Very good. All right. Nice. Jose Luis, what about you? In my case, uh, my as my accent uh, are I, it's easy for me to get along with everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I like be respectful with okay. the opinion of other all people. Okay, very good, nice. All right, Thank you, Normita. Well, teacher, I try to work in honest, okay. loyal, okay. responsible, engagement. Engage. Okay. Oh, very nice. Like, like continuous improve for for me and for others. Okay. And if for to coach and development my team worker in mm -hmm. solve problem and create a good environment work. Okay. All right. Very nice. All right, Eli, Larin. Teacher, I confused in the exercise. Ah, oh, uh huh. But after hearing my classmate, uh -huh. I think that my access is uh, I am responsible with my work. Uh, I am effective, effectively. You're effective. You're, yeah, you're efficient. And, uh -huh. and efficient. Okay. And efficient. Uh, my boss, um, 
always, always. Me felicita. Congrats. Congratulate you. And Eli, solo deme un segundito, Elita. Give me one second, please. Okay. Everyone, actually everyone. Sorry, guys. All right. Aha, uh -huh, Elita. So you were saying the last thing that you were mentioning, Eli? Yes. Uh, I say that my boss is very, very, very happy with me. Okay. Okay. I think, I think that. <laughs> All right, very good, really nice. All right, very good. Thank you. What about you, Jesse? Your assets as a person, as an individual. Okay, I I had a lot of assets. I think that, but the most principal is uh, I had ability to get along with many different personalities in okay. my company. I had positive attitude in all time, can be inside the trough or inside the meal time. Okay. You, you have to have the same, the same meal in the face. The smile, and okay. Smile in the face, yes. I, I am so responsible, punctual. And in some cases, some people tell me you are a herbal inside the business. That's all. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, Verito. Uh, for me, it's easy. It's, it's easy to get along with different kind of people. Okay. I, I think I am serious. All right. Serious. I like to be honestly honest. Honest, yes. Yes, I am hard worker. <laughs> Okay. And I am responsible. 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 Uh huh. Responsible. <laughs> and um, only that. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. Irene, then Gerardo, then Moises, and then, of course, Nubia and Silvia that just got in. All right. Irene. All right, maybe Irene is not around. What about Gerardo? Gerardo, what can you tell us about your assets? Uh, for me, teacher, I think that my assets, uh, I am friendly and comfortable. The people around me can be trusting me and solve the problems through the technology. Okay. All right. And in my home. Uh, accessible person, okay. open mind, almost, oh. almost in the in the topic like political, sexual, religious All issues. Right. Okay. Uh, and being funny, being funny, okay. <laughs> make to other laugh with a good humor. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, Moises, what about in your case? What are your assets? My assets are, for example, polite. Mm -hmm. Honest. Okay. Model. Kind. Mm -hmm. Okay. And open mind. Open minded. Very nice. All right. Very good. Nubia, what can you tell us about what are, what are your assets or your like uh, personality adjectives or things that you can tell that are good about you, Nubia? And then also. Um, uh, Silvita, all right. Nubia, can you tell us anything about you? Uh, I am serious. Okay. Uh, I 
sometimes angry. Okay. <laughs> sometimes only. Only, all right. Very um, good. Okay. Um, Anything else? Uh, only that? Only that. <laughs> all right, very good. That's good. All right, and Silvia, what are your yes. assets? Thank you, Nubia. What are your assets, Silvita, as a person? ¿Cómo se dice? A mí me cuesta hablar de mí misma. Ah, it's hard for you to talk about yourself. Yeah. Yes. Very good, Nubia. Thank you. All right, Silvia, what can you tell us about yourself? Um, good evening, teacher. And Hi. my kids, I am... Um, uh, eh, emphatic, eh, how do you say empática? Empatic? Empatic, uh, right? Eh, collaborative. Okay. Eh, I like to eh, help to others. Okay. In, in many in many ways. And I, I am a hard worker. I, uh, want, I like to be a, a good job in okay. all the things. And I, I have, um, I am, uh, how do you say, uh, I like to uh, learn, learn and uh, improve my knowledge in okay. many all kind right. of things. All right, very nice. Thank you, Silvita. All right, guys. So thank you so much for telling us a little bit about yourselves. All right. I'm going to take attendance right now, the second round. So Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you, Eli. Eric Alirio Perez Díaz. Nope. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernández. Nope. Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. Present teacher. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Thank you. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Oscarito, no le escucho. <laughs> Sorry. Present, present. Thank you. <laughs> All right. No, it's okay. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Diana Gabriela Hernández eh, Morales. Present. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Williams Alexander Rodriguez Argueta. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Eh, Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present, teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present. Thank you. Uh, Me, Silvia, teacher. Thank you, yes. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martinez. Present. Thank you. Veronica Lizette Soto Serna. Present. And Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Present. Thank you. All right, guys, very good. So this is what we're going to do right now. I want to show you this, and then I'm going to send you to your groups right now. Then we're coming back, and we are going to be talking about this just give me a second here teacher sorry yeah i i i miss <laughs> irene me yeah All right. yeah okay yeah irene i know you're here um francisca irene lima hernandez say present <laughs> present. present thank you <laughs> guys i just want to show you this right here uh the thing i'm getting right now for you i'm just gonna show it this is what we're working on right now. Take a picture of this. Do not Google it. <laughs> Don't Google this, all right? Uh, number one is liability. Number two is common ground. Number three is compromise. And number four is advocacy, all right? So I want you to take a picture of that. And I want you to go and work with your peers about the meaning of this uh, vocabulary, all right? I don't want you to Google it. I want you to tell me what you think it is, all right? And if you are not accurate, that's okay, all right? Then we can uh, share the answers. Also, I want you to take a picture of the following. Hold on. Just give me a second here. I need to wait. Hold on. I just need to double check. Que no le voy a enseñar la respuesta. 
<laughs> okay. And then what I want you to do is also take a picture of this. That's not so complicated. Take a picture of this right now, assets of Gen X, and then you just may copy it if you want to, or uh, take a picture, and then this one, assets of Gen Y or millennials. Remember que los millennials también se le conoce como Gen Y. All right, so assets of Gen X and assets of Gen Y, plus the definitions that I just showed you, those four words, okay? With that, we're gonna go and work on your groups. All right, guys, so I'm gonna send you right now las cuatro definiciones. Do not Google it, it's about what you know about it. And then what is Gen X, what are the assets of Gen X? What are the assets of Gen Y? Ayer las vimos, a ver si nos acordamos de algunas y si no, you think of other ones, all right? So I'm gonna send you right now to your groups. There you go. Yes, you may open your groups now.
continuous learning was for, for generation X. Ah, okay. okay. Continuous learning. Normita, okay, your, let's... Sorry, Normita, how's your husband? A better teacher, thank you. Okay, all right. Very nice. And you? Uh, more or less. Or, uh, I had a, a shoulder pain. Right. A lot of that today, uh, today uh, had a, a pain uh, a strong in the afternoon. Oh, okay. All right. But they had a, a long conference in the 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Wow. <laughs> that, <sighs> that doesn't help, Normita. Yes, teacher. I couldn't. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. It's the work. I know, I know. All right, continue. I'll, I'll be quiet. I'm not here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Teacher, uh, advo advocacy is near similar to discipline. Mm, not really. Advocacy? Uh huh. Well, I was telling Norma that I saw a movie that was, uh, the name was uh, Devil's Advocate. Advocate. All right, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, and I told them they were the devil's followers. Uh, right, advocacy. yes, yeah. It's like following the company values or right. following the, 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 the company uh, leading. I, I, uh -huh. I, relate, I relate, make a relation that uh -huh. meaning with the loyal. With the law? With law? With law. Yeah, all right. No. Yeah, it, it 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 is related in a way, Normita, because it's like a like a defense, como defensa, uh, okay. right? or oh, abogacía also. Oh really? Uh huh. Okay. All right, but there's like another. I mean, remember that usually these words in English they have like one or more definitions. All right. In the Spanish, yes. if we actually try to look for the meaning, le va a salir defensa o abogacía, all right? But, uh, for example, you can say, and this is the definition I have for you, it says it's a public public support a, or recommendation of a particular cause or policy, all right? So it relates in a way, I guess. Public support and, and a police. Uh, I mean, a, a pol or po uh, policy. A policy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we can use in the labor uh, area related to defend the values. I guess so, yeah. For the companies. Right. It says also, it, 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 it also says that is the the profession or work for a legal advocate. So si se relaciona con ley, like in a right. way. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. It's quite interesting. I, I I really don't understand the word, not in English, not in Spanish anyway. <laughs> kind of like, I don't know. Uh -huh. like, we are trying. Know? Yeah, so it's kind of weird, but it's on the book. But <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Okay, let's see. I, 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 uh, I had a, a confuse with the way I compare the generic X with the generic Y. Because in, in, in some texts said uh, that the general Y are flexible in uh, leadership. Okay. But uh -huh. in the general X, the, the, the people as a natural leadership, the most than people. I don't know if for the knowledge they have in compare with the, the millennials, or uh, because the people have more um, abilities in that mm -hmm. area, right. because they they have more more um, exposed to management the people, right? And the I, teenagers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think um, Norma, if we're comparing generations, I guess we have many things that are similar. All right, so remember that these generations, they are very, they do relate because the years are very like together, all right? So it's not like, for example, 
baby boomers and millennials. Maybe yes. the ways that they are similar are going to be less. Similar. But Gen X and Gen Y, for example, uh, remember that in many of the uh, theories, they say that Gen Y begins in 1980. All right. So the late millennials, like the very, the older millennials, I mean, sorry, the older Gen X, they may be very similar to the younger or to the mid millennials. All right. So I think we share some characteristics, you know, of leadership, for example, I think. And again, I guess it depends also like on the person, I guess. And it depends also on the uh, educational background that you have. Because as you, as you were saying, if you have the knowledge, then you become a leader in a way, all right? So I think it relates, and those are like the similar traits or characteristics that these two generations share. And sometimes it's good because it makes like even a better team work, but sometimes, for example, Gen Xers, they may not like millennials to be leading uh, you, all right, or us or vice versa, all right? Yeah. So I think that's like when the controversy of generations come to, come in hand, you know? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Do you think, do you think millennials like to be led by a S? Some of yeah, them may. <laughs> uh -huh. Some of them may, but by the next uh, generation uh, doesn't want to be led by a, no. actually doesn't want to be led by a, by anybody, millennial. By anybody, by a millennial. <laughs> right. by anyway, by a millennial. Uh -huh. right. Okay. Wow. I'm tired, teacher. Yeah, tired. I know. It's Wednesday. I'm, Two more days, Oscarito. <laughs> but you had to work yesterday, right? Uh huh. You oh, finished I... this morning. Mm -hmm. And I haven't slept. You haven't day. slept all day. Uh huh. I haven't slept. Why, so, Oscar? Uh, all in sleep. I know. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> All right. What grades are your kids in, Oscar? The girls, what grade uh, are they in? The youngest uh, uh, in elementary is the youngest is in preparatory. Mm -hmm. My youngest daughter and the older, okay. my, my older daughter is on fourth grade. Okay, fourth grade. Uh -huh. right. okay. So they are they are receiving uh, online uh, classes guidelines online, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Not not actually not 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 on, not on conference. So. Right, just but, the guías de trabajo. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh, just guías de trabajo. Just uh, the guidance, the right. guidelines, the guidelines. Yeah. Right. For 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 a for a task. Right. Or okay. To write it down. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah, is it difficult for them? Yeah, it is because it's, it's kind of difficult to concentrate for a yeah. for a children for a child. Right, it's difficult to go to to concentrate or or to pay attention. Right, at home because a uh, house is related to to fun and rest right. and and eat, <laughs> not to study. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, I had to eat okay. or maybe. Uh -huh. to eat. Yeah. I, we have to be pushing, pushing them. I know. I think you it's know. difficult, eh? One technique is uh, placing a, a a desk in a in an isolated place. Right. In which they cannot be. I mean, this they can concentrate. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. So. It's difficult for them. It's difficult it's because difficult. they are confined. They they are even they are like in jail. Yeah. Right, uh, right, yeah. So we uh, sometimes I have to. We have to understand them because right. Uh, they as a as a they get accustomed to be here. But it's right. like a, if you have if you have a small chicken in a box in a <laughs> two, two box, right? Never. And that chicken never knows the the sunlight or, or right. Is there will be problems after this? I think so. I think so. Uh, there will be many uh, psychological issues that will, right that after will, that. Will yeah. Have to attend, uh, but right. in general, to children in general. 
Right. I know. The child they uh, they will have some. I think so. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it has affected everybody and and children especially because they really don't understand everything as yeah. like it is. You know. So they kind of why can I go out? You know. <laughs> Yeah. I had the they started to question why, yeah, uh -huh, why they, do. they don't go out. Right. And sometimes they hide fears and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and sometimes sometimes you have to clarify them. Right. Yeah. Uh explain if they give explanation about the things. Right. To tell the truth. Right, yeah. I know. A, but, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but in other cases you have to manage a life because no Yeah, I know uh, it's 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 hard. Uh-huh. Right. Is, is uh, I never thought I, I would be dealing with this situation. No, no kidding, me neither. Uh -huh. Nobody. No. Uh -huh. Nobody. I guess nobody. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's difficult, yeah. and I think I don't know. Schools have left. They have not really adjusted this new life, like new teaching style, to reality. Because I don't know in your case, Oscar, but in my case, my children, the two little girls, they. Mm -hmm. Tons of homework. It's amazing. It's it's really it's like oh my goodness. I think it's too much. Uh, my, my children are at the uh, public school. Okay. Catholic public school. All right. But uh, but uh, the teachers at uh, the beginning mm -hmm. were uh, in a hurry. Right. And they were doing aha uh -huh, assigning many 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 homework. homework right. Many. many Many tasks. Okay. Many things. Uh -huh. So so they they hit the break. They uh -huh. when the when the, the education minister. Okay. Uh huh. Told them told them too easy. Yeah, too easy. to get that, <laughs> too easy on too people. Easy. <laughs> that I had too easy on the on the students. Right. So now that they, they are taking a. a a reasonable uh, speed of, oh, I mean, a reasonable nice. amount of of, of uh, homework or, okay. or tasks in right. a, in a week in a week, but it's different. Maybe your children are attending a private school. They go to a private school, all right. Okay, but, that, that's why. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Huh? I think it's too much. <laughs> it it's really a lot. I mean, I sometimes I feel like they have. I teach at university, you know, and, and sometimes uh -huh. I feel my children have much more homework than my students at university. I mean, it's amazing, Normita. I never stop, Norma. It's like one homework and I have two little ones. Well, I have three children, but Alejandro, uh -huh. the oldest one, he do, I mean, he does his homework by himself. He's in grade uh -huh. 11. All right. But in the case of my little ones, they need my help and they need my husband help so it's like every day the same thing over and over again and then they get stressed wow. out we get stressed out so it's a it's a mess sometimes <laughs> see the difference is that, that that we used to i mean uh, in a normal and an ordinary day right i used to they they used to attend classes at school at school mm -hmm. and then practice a, a sport yeah, in the yeah, afternoon the same right yes uh -huh, but now uh, yeah uh, we are just uh, <laughs> they are just dancing or, and mm -hmm. they they follow a youtube youtube routine on tv okay. they right. start to to dance but this is not the same it's so they the don't same. you can know uh, uh, the 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 duties you cannot increase the, the burden or, or, right, or the yeah, duties right. over them because they don't have how to they don't know they don't have uh, any chance to release right by by, right. by, by physical uh, I mean like like anything uh, to, to easy stress by uh, <laughs> right, by, yeah. by by exercising right themselves yeah. right so yeah. dancing I I I have found that dancing is it's okay because they they just watch the TV and they right. follow uh, the steps and uh, routine. And the step, uh -huh. mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. I don't dance. I at the beginning I was making exercise with them, uh -huh. but they they <laughs> rather to to dance and I don't. All right. So, uh, they are, uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In your case, Norma, you have older children, right? Like they're hey, older already. I have one. Uh, but he is studying in the university. Right, yeah. 
right. But it's the same case. Uh, yeah. Only class for Indian, yeah. and he couldn't out outside the house. I know. I didn't see April. I know. I know. In April to nowadays, he right. couldn't out. Yeah, yeah. Very, very complicated. It is. It is. But uh, get it, it yeah. The, the new normality. That new normality, that's right, yeah. And we have to wait to see what happens later, right? Because, I don't know, this according, is, I guess... According to Forbes, mm -hmm. said uh, that situation continues as the, as, as the first quarter for the next year. That's right. Wow. Okay, yeah. the vaccine is... Yes. Yeah, until all of us were, uh, were vaccinated. Right, yeah. But we need to 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 look the the results, sir. I know, Cabal. That's right, Normita. No, no, no. I'm no. <laughs> no ah, kidding. The vaccines. Uh -huh. You mean the vaccines? Right. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But every every year, I mean, uh, any any every anybody, I mean, a small amount of people die because of the flu vaccine. Mm -hmm. So they have a allergic reaction. I don't know, but it's yeah. it's, it's, it's. But imagine, it's Oscar. That imagine that yeah. that happens with a vaccine that we have had for many years. Imagine with a new one for a new disease. I think it's gonna be triple. Yeah. We, That's we why not meet no us. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. No it's, 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 it's really hard. But, but the, the people don't understand the situation. No. Today I passed in front to Mr. Don. <laughs> oh my God. Estaba llena la ruida. No. The Mr. I, I, I put in the, in the chat uh, one picture. I, I took pictures because I said, oh my God, the people don't understand the situation. Imagine for the Don's. Are you serious? Yes, teacher. I know. <laughs> Around the, the restaurant, <laughs> another uh, site. Wow, right. I know. Well, they are delicious. Those are delicious. Incredible. Yes, Oscarito, but right now you're not going to make a line for a donut. I, do. I, know, I, will, I wouldn't be cool and, and, and very close to other people there. No, I, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I I look for Hugo. <laughs> 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 yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, but as Normita says, I mean, not many people understand what's going on or they don't care. Ah, my goodness. You Oscar, see? what about you your see? your wife works outside the house? Like, uh, with, like the normal works, life? Uh, no, she works at home one week and mm. then she goes to to the workplace uh, I mean one week by it's a uh, home como se dice teletrabajo eh? yeah I forgot it it's like, very common um, computer like, work no right no 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 well like uh, she's she's doing a teletrabajo okay uh, one week and then the other week she has to uh, to go personally all right to the workplace oh to the workplace. So we are switching, but, but I have a, a, a nanny. Okay. A nanny actually yesterday, she came yesterday. Okay. Uh -huh. We have yeah, hired a nanny. Yeah, because you had to nanny. work, right? Uh -huh. uh huh, because I cannot be here the whole time. Right, yeah. No, this is, believe me, this is uh -huh, complicated. You have. know what, I am so happy, really uh -huh. and honestly speaking, because my husband is a teacher and I'm a teacher. So uh -huh. right now the whole uh -huh. family is at home because I mean education wow. is online. So uh -huh. both our jobs are here from home. And I think right now, to be honest, I'd rather be at uh -huh. home than be working outside. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All really? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't want to get sick yes. of that. I'm scared. I don't no, that, that's scared. why. But, but in a current, I mean, uh, in a in a normal yeah, life? 
in a normal life without, oh, I mean, the, I, without I, the COVID-19. Uh -huh. No, you know what, before this whole situation, I was working both ways, like online, right, Normita? Because uh -huh. I had Normita yeah. for like a long time online teaching like I, at night and in the day during the morning I, I used to go to university and to the academy and teach uh -huh. all right but I like I, I, I enjoy teaching like face to face kind of thing but right now because of the whole situation I'm very glad my job is a teacher so I, I am home <laughs> because wow. it, because of this whole situation I really like don't want to get sick and I don't want my family to get sick. So it's like, I think I'm sick. <laughs> yeah, in my case, I, I don't have choice. Yeah. My, my work is, is only, how to say, presential or, right. or presential. I have yeah. a presential job. You have to be there. Right. Yeah, I know. And look here, I, I, I found that this uh, teletrabajo will be telecommuting. Okay. Telecommuting, but it, there's another word. Well, it's very yeah. common, like... Uh, Home, like working home at home office? from home, home uh -huh. office, home office, right. home office yeah. and telecommuter, uh, right. com tele okay. telecommuting and home okay. office. All right. Office. Normita, what about in your case of your husband? He works outside too. Like he no, has to go. Uh -huh. in the, he works in the house. Okay. So only you, Normita. You have to go out. I, go I know, Normita. Every day. Yeah, every, every day. day. Wow. Okay. Right. Yeah, that. In, in these days, the co-workers uh, make a, a job. They said, my cluster has more than 2,000 people. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's true. It is. Uh -huh. Imagine all the people in the, in the town. Claro. It's a, our, our cluster. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness, Norma. <laughs> Oh, only in El Salvador. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go back right now and we'll discuss about okay. the definitions. We're about to go, Oscarito, so you can go to bed soon, okay? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys, let's see. So what do you have? Uh, let's see, Diana, are you here, Diana? Diana, Diana, oh, she's here. Diana, what do you have for the first um, definitions, Diana? Okay. For liability, what do you have? For liability, I think that liability is like um, when someone can trust you. Okay. It's, it's like responsible, but it's more like when you are like uh, giving a secret, a secret with mm -hmm. someone, sharing a secret with someone, and you okay. are trusting that this person is not going to tell everyone you about your secret. secret. All right, your deepest secret. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good, Jesse. Thank you, Diana. Jesse, what do you have for liability? Yes, I, I think in the sense is a responsibility that you had inside the employee, mm -hmm. but it's more, it's more deep, deeper about your obligations, mm -hmm. about your work, that you have to develop well the thing that you have to make inside the employee. All right, all right, That's very good. Okay, very good. Sylvia, what do you think? What is liability for you? Mm, um, ability, ability for me is the um, red, red to many, many things. Uh, uh, do I have it to red? Okay. Because uh, uh, we need to, to read so much in, in the many kind of things or topics. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, Oscar and Norma, that you were working together, what is liability for you? We were reviewing that, that uh, some synonyms like uh, responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it, responsibility. Okay. Like uh, behave in a responsible way. All right, I see. Verito, uh -huh. what do you have for liability? 
Uh, I say Oscar is for me is like a responsible or okay. compromise. Yes. A compromise. Is all right. Very yes, good. Something like that. Okay. Something like that because I haven't I haven't heard before about. Oh, it. all right. Interesting. Very good. Thank you, Irene. Any idea on liability? For for me, it's a compromise to teacher. Okay. All right, very good. Moises, liability for you. Responsibility. Okay, very good. All right, very good. All right. What about uh, Jenny and then Henry and Henry? Yes, teacher is a uh, responsibility and commitment. Okay. All right, very good. Henry, anything else about liability? responsibilities uh, duty which you have in the, in the job maybe okay all right very good all right guys so i'm gonna show you the definition of liability all right of course it may uh, be the same as what you have or not but it's pretty much what it is liability is the state of being responsible for something especially by law all right so if you are liable i guess liability refers to being responsible kind of way all right but it's really close to uh like by law something that you have to follow something that is not just because you want to all right something that you should do it all right but in other words it's being responsible as you guys said what about common grounds what do you guys what did you guys come up with that common ground anybody well teacher uh, we discuss this about it uh, define a similar characteristic for a group of persons. Okay. Very good. All right. Very nice. I agree with Norm. I think that is like finding the topics or things that you have in common. All right. It's like Oscar said that it is like finding a boyfriend that you are <laughs> <laughs> that you are finding the topics that you have in common in order to. All right. To be in love together. All right. Like yes. Loves you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Common grounds. Very good. Okay. Anybody else about common grounds? Yes. Guys? Uh, when when a group have a uh, have an opinion or interest and in mm -hmm. share with others. Okay. Very good. Okay. Nice. Anybody else? Common grounds. Okay, for me, teacher, is when the all the employees had a, a same, I don't know, a same interest about one topic. Okay. Me? Okay. But, but it's too the good way to establish relationship about mm -hmm. the people in one business. Okay, I, I see. Know, that's all. Very good, Jesse. Very nice. Anybody else? Elizabeth del Carmen or Eli Larin, Silvita, what is common ground for you? I I agree with Yesenia. I say that I say the Silvia the common ground is when when all all have the same. Mm -hmm. uh, objective. Okay, nice. All right, very good. Anybody else? Maybe can be opinion. Uh huh, Moses? Can be an opinion about okay. a specific topic. All right, okay. All right, very good. I'm going to share with you what common ground is. Whoa, what was that? All right, very good. A common ground, it says that it's opinions or interest shared by each of two or more parties, all right? So for like two or more people, all right? Or the, or the parties that are involved, all right? Could be like government, could be managers, could be whatever, the people that are involved but are shared by two or more, all right? So in this case, common grounds of generation X and generation Y, for example, all right? So opinions or interests shared by two people or two parties or more, very good. And what's the other word, guys? Do you remember what the other word is? We have compromise, uh-huh. So what's compromise? 
Ajá, José Luis, what compromises? Uh, I was talking with Diana and, and compromise is uh, when when the company give you all benefits and you are you have to be available to okay. give all of you. Okay. Oh, all right. Interesting. Okay. I like that. Very good. Anybody else? What about compromise? Compromise. Maybe in the legal area. The law. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, and for example, when we have, when we sign the, the contract with the company. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And we sign for a, a compromise. Compromise in, in the three, the, the best manners the world. Okay. And the company is the compromise to pay, pay mm -hmm. for the work. Okay. This is a compromise. All right, very good. Okay, anybody else? Verito, what do you have for compromise? Or Elizabeth, yes? <coughs> Teacher, exists different compromise. Maybe the person, the company, the, okay. the different things. Okay. But when you when you show me the the box, the compromise, I believe that is the the compromise at work. Maybe. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. I get it. Very nice. Thank you, Eli. What about Verito? Any idea on compromise, Vero? Uh, for me, I think compromise is uh, when you have um, uh, when you have that compromise to do something or with someone. I don't know something like that. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Okay, teacher. The compromise is when we make a notch inside the business. Mm -hmm. uh, can be when you have to be go out your work at 9 p.m., but you don't finish it, your work. You have mm -hmm. to stay inside the business because you are done finished. Okay. And that you have to continue working can be for 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. But you had a compromise mm. that you have to finish the work. Okay. And don't mind the time. Ah. But the, the important thing is your work. Okay. For me, that is compromise because you had a compromise with the people, with the manager, and with the whole person. All right. That's okay. Awesome. All right. Very good. One more about compromise. Anybody? Maybe it's a payment or a sentiment mm -hmm. between two parts or more parts. Okay. Uh, they pay a uh, obligation with each other. Okay. I see. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. So here we have what compromise is. All right. And we say definition is this compromise and agreement or settlement I'm just going to move us here of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions all right so in other words in other words compromise is an agreement something that it was set before all right and then for example when you're hired on a company on any company they tell you what their agreements are and you sign them when you sign the contract, you're compromising to fulfill those objectives or to fulfill those requirements, all right? So you are compromised to do them as well as the other party. And in this case, the guy, that, the people that hire you, all right? So compromise is an agreement or a settlement, all right? Reached by uh, each side. That's why it's a compromise because it's, between two people or between two organizations or between two two managers all right it has to be between it can you cannot have just you know you cannot be compromised just with you in a case all right in this case because we're talking about the job kind of related situations you need to compromise with the company 
all right? Or the employee with the employer, all right? So that's what compromise is, all right? And then we had advocacy, which is, it's a little difficult word to define. I really still don't really understand it much in Spanish anyway. So if you guys can enlighten me and tell me what advocacy is. Aha, uh -huh, Jennifer. It's a legal support teacher. Okay. All right. It's a legal Okay. The defined teacher is related to the law. Yeah. Okay. Related to what Jennifer is saying. Very good. All right. Anybody else? No? Yes. I think that advocacy is about the law, but it's too when you talk in defense for another people's. Mm -hmm. When you see the abilities in the throw that the people have, and you can defend the people. Okay. So not only in the legal life, but also inside your work, you can be, in my words, you can be a abogada mm -hmm. <laughs> for the people. Lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But not only in the Tinder, the liar in the lie in the clear, but also inside the business or in front of God too. Ah, in front of God. Oh, okay. Yes, you you can be a, a liar of the other people when they are making the bow things. I don't know. <laughs> That's all. All right. Okay. Very good. All right, Diana, was advocacy for you? I was enlightening, enlightened. Yeah, me too. <laughs> for what Jesse was saying, because it is a really good way to see it, because you can take part of uh, for the people who is like being like bullying in right. work. Because okay. even in, in, in workplaces, we have like this bullying of course, yeah. behavior and you can take like this uh, part of for the, uh, for the weaker. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Anything else, Normita or Henry or anybody, Jose Luis, Irene, about advocacy? We were reviewing that. Uh, I had, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. the, I I felt that advocacy is like a, to follow something, mm -hmm. and it could be follow uh, uh, values or follow uh, a behavior, follow uh, a company values, or follow any way of life. I don't know. All right. Okay. Mm. Normita, anything else? No, teacher, I, I am agree with Jessenia. You agree with Jesse? All right. Jesse, you, we everybody agrees with you today. Wow, very nice. <laughs> Jesse has enlightened us today. Very good. All right. What I found, guys, uh, I don't know if it's going to relate to what you guys were saying. Advocacy is public support for or recommendation of a particular cause or policy. All right. So I guess it relates in a way to what Jesse was saying, all right? So it's a public support. When you advocate, you support someone or something or a policy, right? Or you, uh, it's a recommendation for a particular cause, all right? So that's what we have for advocacy. So those words, guys, are of course on your book, on your manual, all right? So that's why we need to talk about them. And they relate to what we have been talking about, all right? So this takes us for the last five minutes of class. What are the assets of Generation X and Generation Y that you guys talked about in your group? Diana, who were you working with? You were working with Moises or with Jose Luis? No, I was working with Jose Luis. All right. So Diana and Jose Luis, what are the assets of both generations? Okay. We were talking that uh, both generations that have, have this uh, technique technologically savvy right characteristics mm -hmm. and that both are like hard workers right but maybe the gen x is m more hard worker 
and they are like more focused and more responsible oh, and maybe okay. the generation why uh, had something uh, had something of these um, characteristics it may be good or maybe good better for the generation because and um, sometimes the millennials we are kind of um I don't know if lazy is the correct word. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stereotype, Yanita. Stereotype. <laughs> yes, because, uh, yes, and we were talking about that, that uh, uh, we are different. It's not that uh, any is better than the other. Right. It's, it's just like uh, we are different generations. That's right. And yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, let me see. Vera, who were you working with? I'm working with Elizabeth. Ah, all right, Elizabeth. Okay, very good. So, Vero and Elizabeth, what are the assets for both generations that you came up with? For both generation, it's for example, tech savvy, okay. and they are um, or I remember oriented oriented to okay. to share the goals. Okay. Not to, uh, yes, to, how do you say alcanzar? Okay. To reach? Yes, the goals. Mm -hmm. All right. To achieve the goals. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, Norma, and oh, thank you. Norma and Oscar, what can you tell us about the assets of both gen, uh, generations? X or Y? Both. If you can recall. Okay, for the uh, generation X, uh, we said they uh, are responsible, mm -hmm. our worker, commit, committed, loyalty, and reliable. Okay, very good. And for way, uh, self out, leadership, mm. flexible, team worker, technological abilities, okay. and open mind. Very good. All right, nice. Very good. Thank you. Jennifer, who are you working with? Jenny, I can't hear you. Uh, uh, really? I can remember with my partner. Jennifer, Jennifer, what with, with Henry, okay. For <laughs> I can't I'm sorry. But the uh, asset, the asset? generates X, the generates X in focus and process, they are more directionalist, okay. they are responsibilities, and the asset the generates millennium or generates Y, they uh -huh. are open minds, high, okay. high education. Okay. Um, Walker too. Oh, okay. Changes too. All right, very good. Okay, very good. Thank you, Silvita. The last group, uh, Silvita. Who were you working with? We work with uh, Ellie. Okay. All right, Silvia and Ellie. What did you come up with? The assets that you came up with for both generations. Hmm. Well, we talk about the technology. Mm -hmm. They are the same. They are uh, learn to technology in in some way. Okay. For the generation Y is more easy, but the other uh, is is good for them. Okay. Sure. All right. Very good. All right, guys. I'm gonna take the last attendance and then I'll let you go. All right. Uh, Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Present. All right. Uh, Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Thank you, Jesse. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present. 
Andrea María Rabanino Navarro. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Very good. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Jennifer Carolina Acosta Bonilla. Present teacher. Eh, Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. All right. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Present. Thank you. Verónica Lizette Soto Serna. Present teacher. And Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Francisca Irene, la, re, la, la nombre. I can't remember. Did I mention her name? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. She, she said, all right. Okay. But she's here anyway. Yeah, I think she did. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being uh, with me on Wednesday. Solo recordarles que el viernes tenemos la encuesta de satisfacción. Ese día no me puede faltar. All right. Bueno, ningún día puede faltar, pero el viernes menos. All right. So thank you so much for being with me. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Okay. El si alguien se necesita quedar, I'm here for 10 minutes. Thank you. Okay. Hi, good night, everybody. Bye, 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 teacher. Bye. Thanks a lot. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you too. Thanks a lot, teacher. You're very welcome, Ellie. Uh, yeah. Teacher, I was I was working in the platform. Yes. Do you remember that? Do you say yes? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, I don't know because uh, getting a a mistake. Oh really? I don't know. On the same one, Ellie. I believe that. I believe no 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 the first is it is okay the first okay the first the the other is i don't know what happened with me <laughs> ellie why don't you take a picture and you send it to my whatsapp and i can i can check them tomorrow yeah tomorrow send, send them to yes uh-huh yeah ellie so mm -hmm. i can help you okay, okay? yes only only this part i need mm. a complete Okay, all right. Okay, Elisa. Yeah, I can help this you tomorrow, part. okay? Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome, Elie. <laughs> Bye. Bye, good night. Hi, Normita. <laughs> I, I, I take my 10 minutes. Selena, <laughs> yes. Nice to see you again. <laughs> I, I apologize because I don't take a notice for the day. Uh, oh, that's okay. Day. No, it's okay, Norman. <laughs> Yesterday, review uh, at the end uh, the email. Uh -huh. It's the uh, 26 of yeah, August. It was, August. yes. But that's okay. You're but here. <laughs> my God. Uh, you know what, Norma? I was I was gonna I texted you today, but yes, after yes. that, uh -huh. I had many other things to to do, and I forgot. Yes, remember that yesterday you were telling me about the pain you have on your shoulders. I don't know. If there is this. Um, I don't know if you have heard about this. Uh, they sell it at the Uno drugstore. It's Agua Florida Mentolada. Have you heard about it? I don't know. It's very all right, it's it's a it's a it's a liter it's a liter of liquid, but it's it's natural. All right, and then you you buy it and you and you rub your neck or your shoulders with it, uh -huh. and after you can put an ointment that is like um, crema. Ah, uh, ¿cómo se llama esta? Espérame. Um, I can't remember. Oh no, C crema fría. Uh, All right, so first you put the agua florida mentolada on your on your neck and then you put the crema fria, like cofal kind of thing. All right. Uh -huh. And then that's going to relax your muscles. Y se le va a ir el nudo que me decía ayer. Ay, sí, teacher, because I have pain in there. Really? Way. 
Ya, yeah. all right. Y, y lo venden en esa farmacia. Ahí le voy a dar bien el nombre cuando en el WhatsApp. <laughs> But it helps me a lot because sometimes I have this big pain because I'm always on the computer. All right. So sometimes I see como medio y medio tiesa. So if I rub it, yeah. We start a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I felt more the 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 pain when when more than six hours I stayed in in my in my seat. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So by the uh, Normita, I'm gonna write the name here. All right. So you can like maybe you if you wanna um like try it because it works for me a lot. All right. So I think it's good. And the good thing is that is is natural. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and it's not expensive at all. Okay. Feel better. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, this is where you can buy it. All right, in that, that place you can buy it. And I think it's like, it's like $4, I think. Okay. That's $4.50, una cosa así. Right? So it's, it's, it's really drug, cheap. Or what is the name for the drugstore? La Uno, Farmacia. La Uno. Uh-huh. That's the, I but you know. I don't remember in Santa Ana. Ah, no le creo. No, I don't know. I, I need to sure. <laughs> In the, okay. in the in the ways I put the name in, and I search. All right, and the the crema fría one you can buy it at the Dollar City, and it's only like one dollar or something, one fifty, oh, okay. and it's really good. <laughs> so first the the agua florida thing, and then the uh, the the um the crema fría, and that's a very nice combo. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. Ya, yeah, si sí, eso le iba a escribir ahora, pero en esa que ya pasé de una cosa a otra, ya no le escribí, no, no, no. No, no, no. Well, teacher, I, I, I asked for you mm -hmm. the housing I need to practice to improve my, my listening ability. Mm -hmm. All right. Because when I had a comfort call with American ah, person, ajá, ajá. I had a problem to understand a lot Mm -hmm. uh, all the things they make. Right. I, I started I, that idea. Okay. And I try to give my response, but in many occasions, mm -hmm. when the people is, uh, speak uh, fast, fast, mm -hmm. or 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 uh, entre dientes, I don't uh -huh. understand anything. <laughs> yeah. I, yes, they hablan ellos. <laughs> And, right. and, and I need to improve that because in my in my position, mm -hmm. I have a total comfort call. Oh, okay. And, and nowadays, for a pandemic, mm -hmm. they couldn't come in. Oh. And not that the, the meeting are for teams. Right. And then yeah. I need to start uh, more atten atten with more attention. Right. And try to understand better. Right. Yeah, I see. Well, Normita, you know what? There are many, many sites on the web that you can um, use to practice your listening. But there is one, I'm going to text you the name of one site, all right, that is very, very good because it has the listenings in levels. For example, beginners, intermediate, and advanced, all right? After each listening, Norma, there is a quiz. All right. Okay. And the listenings are very good because they are about anything. All right. And they are very, they are short. Okay. But uh, sometimes you, um, they have different type of people talking. For example, sometimes some listenings are with children and <laughs> understanding is very like, it's nice because they speak fast and they speak like children. All right. Yeah. So or some other conversations, Norma, they are like, you know, older people or from other countries. So what they do in this site, they try to mix different accents and different ways of speaking. All right. So that can help you. I think I'm going to text the name on that site of that site. And uh, Norma, I think it's very good. It's yeah, I'm going to send it right now. So before I forget, it's called. Yeah. All right. And another, so, thing, another thing I noticed, and, and you give me a, a, your own feedback, mm -hmm. is uh, when I try to explain one point, 
Mm -hmm. I had a difficult to connect with that, my ideas, right. yeah. one to others. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I felt I, I speak a uh, cut. Okay, all right. Is it my, my, my feeling? Right. You, your, your feedback? No, I think, I mean, Norma, sometimes, well, not sometimes, speaking is the last skill we acquire, all right? And is the last skill that we manage, okay? So it's, it, it, it is normal that you feel that you don't link the ideas or you, can, you, can, you cannot connect them properly because it's difficult, all right? Now, listening to conversations will help you improve it, but you need to do it regularly, Norma, because it's not just once a week. It's just, and you know what? These listenings that I just tell you about, just told you about, they're very short. So you can practice one listening per day, for example. Listening will help you get better at your speaking because it gives you more vocabulary, you understand more, you comprehend more. And then you're going to be repeating that uh, like, like, uh, like babies, you know, we, we speak because we listen and then we repeat. All right. So that's what you need to do. You need to do a lot of listening uh, and then try, you know what, try to understand. You need to understand uh, like how to link the words properly, but you need to know the words you're using, for example. I've noticed, Norma, that in your case, you have problems with adjectives and adverbs. Yeah. All right? All right. So I think we need to understand what adverbs are, what adjectives are, and sometimes, and I think that's what is a little bit difficult, is that sometimes some adverbs are the same as adjectives. All right? So they are said the same. All right? But we need to know which is which so we can link better our ideas, all right? So I think, Norma, it would be a very good idea for you to study a little bit of adverbs and adjectives, all right? So you understand the difference in where of the sentence you need to put an adverb or when in a sentence you need to put an adjective. So you, have, you, you speak a little bit more fluent in that way, all right? Uh, you need to, and this happens to everybody, Norma, we need to pay attention to the verb tenses. All right, remember that we need to keep the same tense. If we're speaking in present, everything is present. Mm -hmm. All right, if we're speaking in the past, of course, everything's in the past. So we need to understand or manage the tenses better. I think that's going to help you, Norma. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, very good, Normita. I, 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 um, it's uh, difficult when you try to, to learn the yeah. English uh, as an adult. Yes, I know. You no, know, it's the same with when you learn as a teenager. Right, yes, I know, I know. But Norma, you are doing a very good job. Imagínese cuánto tiempo llevamos ya juntas, Norma. Proved a lot, Normita. All right, yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding, Norma. So, eh, pues uno puede ver el avance, ¿verdad? Y en este tipo de, de cursos que son más largos, en, en, en tiempo de dos horas, tenemos más chance es de más practicar bien. más, ¿verdad? Entonces, es eso le ayuda. Ahorita, no sé si le comentaron que y, y logramos hacer un grupo grande solo de frutos. Ok. Eh, como en mi departamento es, es un requerimiento hablar inglés. Ok. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ahorita yo estoy cuidando a todos los hipotes, la mayoría son jóvenes. Sí. Algunos por lo económico, mm -hmm. otros por el tiempo, sí. no estudiaron inglés. Uh -huh. Pero ahorita a mí me da pena que muchos de ellos son muy buenos en experiencia, uh -huh. pero por no cumplir el requisito del idioma no ascienden. Claro. Entonces les digo yo, no es posible que ustedes no aprendan. <risa> que he aprendido yo, les digo, y saben <risa> sí. que yo me metí en esto sí. para darles el ejemplo. A mí. Porque, porque me decían, no, 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 me quedé muy pesado en la noche. Miren, les dije yo, y además ni se aprende, me decían. Dicen que esos cursos ni sirven, ni se aprende. Dios bueno, mío. les dije, me voy a inscribir yo, <risa> me voy a inscribir yo, les dije yo, y, y yo, les voy, yo les voy a decir si se puede y si se aprende. Uh -huh. Y entonces, como publican las notas, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. yo le pido a la encargada que me mande el ranking de las notas de todos los míos. Y entonces les mando, entonces, yo siempre me esfuerzo por hacerlo bien para tener claro. una buena nota. Entonces, ahorita nadie me puede decir que no. 
Entonces, sí. a, a este, este, hoy que venimos de la cuarentena, les dije yo, bueno, ya pasó la cuarentena, ya están al día de las planillas, eh, va a empezar otro curso el próximo mes, así es que, eh, por favor, me confirma el que tenga interés. Yo no puedo obligar a nadie, pero todos claro. saben su necesidad. Así y no es. pagan ni un dólar, uh -huh. más que su tiempo. Entonces, claro. eh, yo ya probé los cursos, los cursos son muy buenos, ustedes pueden aprender, pero tienen que tener la disciplina de claro. tener la sí, clase y la plataforma. Total de que logramos, eh, creo que se inscribieron 12. Ah, mire. Está bien. Que primero Dios, van a empezar, la mayoría van sí. para intermedio. Ajá. Ahí ah, qué bueno. Sí, sí, la verdad que, mire, con, con disciplina, ahí van, ¿verdad? Poco a poco se va aprendiendo, la verdad que es, es, sí se aprende, pero tiene mucho que ver la disciplina y el compromiso que la persona tenga, ¿verdad? Y la disposición, obviamente. Sí, pero mire, sí. yo entiendo, pues, porque a, a mí, dígame, si me toca ahorita que no tengo empleada, me toca bien pinquear. Sí. Pero, <risa> pero hay que hacer el esfuerzo, porque claro. por otro lado, las empresas necesitan sí. que uno tenga las habilidades. Así es, sí, claro que sí. Sí, pues, Normita, pero la felicito, súper, que me alegra. Gracias. <risa> Very good, Normita. Thank you, Está people. bien, no, thank you, la veo mañana, voy a descansar y mire si hay una farmacia de esas por allá. Sí, ya la voy a ¿Me va a ayudar? Ajá. Ok, Normita, have a good night, bye.